2023, the old global order burns hotter. The great game between the West, US, Europe, South Korea, Japan, Australia, and the Chinese Axis, China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, exploded into flames in the Middle East. Iran's proxy army, Hamas, led a bloody terrorist raid on October 7th that killed over 1,000 people and was characterized by rape, torture, and other barbaric acts. Approximately 240 Israelis were kidnapped and taken as hostages by Hamas. Israel, backed by the U.S., launched a bloody retaliatory invasion against Hamas in the Gaza Strip that remains ongoing. Abjuring a two-state solution, the Israelis have leveled Gaza, restricted the entry of humanitarian supplies, and are approaching 20,000 killed civilians, with an estimated 70% of the casualties being women and children. Iran's other proxy armies in the region, Hezbollah and the Yemeni Houthis, have launched sporadic attacks on northern Israel and Red Sea shipping. Additional proxy groups in Iraq have launched several attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq. Russia continued its invasion of Ukraine, however, it has largely been stalemated. The Ukrainian counteroffensive largely fizzled out with both sides occupying opposite banks of the Dnipro. Further U.S. funding of the war effort remains in doubt. 2023 the West is evicted from the Sahel. Africa has seen greater success for the Russians. Wagner continues to replace French and UN forces in the Sahel with a US-aligned president, Mahomed Bazoum, ousted and imprisoned in Niger.